Howdy y'all, Banjo Ben here. I just got finished teaching a huge timing lesson over on my site where we talked about everything from whole notes all the way down to 16th note triplets, what they are and how we use them in our playing. And I want to give you a bit of an exercise that, that I did over there, or one of the several that I did there. And that's where we start a metronome and we play like two measures, just a whole note. Then we do two measures playing quarter notes and then quarter note triplets and then eighth notes, then eighth note triplets. And then you can keep going if you want it, depending on the speed that you're going. But we'll just go down to eighth note triplets for now. There's several different ways that we can do this. We can do this on single string. Let's try that first. Again, two measures for each note value. Ready, go. Here's our whole notes. One, two, three, four, one. Now let's go to half notes, two beats each. One, two, three, four, one. Now we go to quarter notes. One, two, three, four, one. Now let's do quarter note triplets. You hear those? Eighth notes. Now let's do eighth note triplets. Good. And then you can keep going, of course, in the sixteenth note. Whatever you want to do, and it works not only on your timing, but it works on your single string picking too as well. Now, if you don't want to do single string, you could work it into a scale. And I like to play up the scale in whole notes. Pay attention to your tone. Pay attention to when you're actually hitting that note. Record yourself. Are you on the click? Are you off? Are you rushing? And then every time you come back down the scale, start it again with a new note value. Do it with quarter notes. Then do it with triplets. Um, but a really fun exercise that I wanted to show you is to work this into a role because it's going to cause you to um, maybe without even knowing it, break down some barriers that you might have built around your banjo playing to where you have to always play roles in a certain way at a certain time and certain measures and in certain increments and groupings. We want to break that down. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing, two measures with each note value, except we're going to do instead of single string, Let's do a forward roll. You can do this with any roll. Let's do a forward roll. I'm gonna start with my thumb, and every time I play a note, I'm going to play the next finger in a forward roll. Getting here close, so you can see what I look like when I'm playing this. We're gonna start again with our quarter, or our whole notes, half notes, quarter note triplets, quarter notes, or I'm sorry, uh, yeah, quarter notes, quarter note triplets, eighth notes, eighth note triplets. Here we go. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two. Now we're down to our half notes. One, two, three, four. One, two. Now our quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two. Quarter note triplets. Eighth notes. Eighth note triplets now. So if you do that exercise, two measures for each one of those note values, and you start it on your thumb and you don't mess up, when you get to eighth note triplets, you'll also play those triplets starting on your thumb. Then guess what you can do? Do it again, but start on your index. Do it again, but start on your middle. Do backwards rolls. Like figure out all these different ways to maybe try to create new synapses in your brain and maybe try to break some old habits. Because a lot of times I'll see people playing and uh, they're doing really great and then all of a sudden they kind of hit a roadblock and they have to reset. Oh no, my role got out of rhythm or I got lost in my role. A lot of us experience that as we're learning and even on into our banjo journey. One way to keep from getting lost in your roles and to be able to just relax and recover is to do exercises like this. And so I encourage you to do that. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like stuff like this, gosh, we do this every day over at BanjoVanClark.com. I have over 700 lessons there on theory, tunes, styles, everything you need to know. I'd be honored to have you on board as a Gold Pick member. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell.